We're somewhere around Barstow, at the edge of the desert, where the drugs began to take hold. What's happening, everybody? I'm right here in front of Peggy Sue's Diner. It's a pretty nifty 50s diner. I've always wanted to come here. I've never been here before. And I hear they have really good shakes and pies. And we're gonna go in there and get us a pie and uh, try out a shake. Let's go. Peggy Sue's, check this out. Big old giant jukebox and then you have Betty Boo right there saying, get in here. Well, I'm on my way. There's some signage saying there's giant dinosaurs in the back. And I guess this door is uh, closed temporary. But let's eat to the beat. So far I dig the tunes and this big giant jukebox. It's always a good sign when breakfast is served all day. And look at this. Smile, you're on camera. Who's the fool now? Whoa, check this place out. It looks like a movie theater. Welcome to Peggy Sue's. And you got Betty Boo back there. Look at this. And they have Elvis, the king. Thank you, thank you very much. And then obviously, this has to be inspired by him, right? Really? Peggy Sue's. And then this big giant shake. More memorabilia. You got the Duke up there. And you have this gentleman right here. You rang. I thought this was the Fonz, but it's actually James Dean. And then you have more memorabilia of James Dean. And then some tabloids talking about Peggy Sue. Awesome. Looks like this place was established back in the 50s. Lots of cool memorabilia up here. A lot of, obviously this is family owned. And this is, uh, I don't know, it's very, it's very neat seeing all this. A lot of achievements. Like I said, a lot of celebrities have come through this area. That's awesome. This is really cool. There's this little gift shop here with a bunch of old school like memorabilia and t-shirts. A lot of Disney stuff because Disney was really popular it's always been popular but especially back in the 50s and 40s coca-cola awesome a lot of throwback stuff in here cool little tin signs everywhere look at that a lot of lots of pictures lots of cool clocks look at this this is pure awesomeness you got some beetles up there what check this out right here I have always wanted one of these. For the longest time, I've wanted one of these clocks. Just like in Back to the Future. Felix the Cat. Look a fire truck. How cool is that? This place is awesome. If you're into the whole 50s thing, definitely come check this place out. This is just a gift shop. They have ice cream here. And all the best ice cream too. Thrifties. And this is the diner area. Looks like they got some pies back there. Definitely has that 50s feel in here. The checker tile. And obviously, memorabilia. This place glores of memorabilia. And they have this Elvis poster, memorial auditorium. And then you have this, these flyers, old school flyers. You have the Blues Brothers in here. You have Juliet, and you have Elwood over there. He's doing his thing, he's dancing. Follow the yellow brick road. And then there's another close up of Elwood Blues. Yeah, I have some, so much neat, neat stuff. And the whole, whole wall. Tribute to Maryland. You even have a little sign that says Maryland Lane. Check, check out this big giant record. And then you have the Blues Brothers right there. Juliet and Juliet and Elwood. You have the pies. Look at all these scrumptious looking pies. Lots of Elvis here. Lots of Elvis. I love the records. I love all these statues. I thought it was cool they had mini statues of the Blues Brothers and they had the big giant statues. And more memorabilia of people who came through here. Wow. So on the menu here, 
It gives you a little little backstory about this place. That Pegasus is an original roadside diner built in 1954. Here next to the Calico Mountains. Yeah, it kind of keeps on going back. You know when this place was officially established as Peggy Sue's Diner. It's always been a diner since the 50s, and then Peggy Sue still owns this place, and uh, yeah, still running it. Looks like it's holding up really well, and this is definitely a great place. My wife went with the shake. I'm going to give this a go. Spent five dollars on a shake. Let's give it a go. That's a damn good shake. Mm. Mm. So nice, I had to try it twice. You think this is some tink, like dinky little diner, but this place is actually pretty big. And since check this out, Ronnie Dangerfield was here, and then Danny DeVito. Hey Sue, spelled with records. Awesome, and this is their own little pizza parlor. It smells amazing. Not getting pizza today, but pretty awesome that they have pizza and a variety and all sorts of cool, good tunes and cool records, man. I'm a record collector, and this is just awesome. And I was wondering what kind of diner would this be if they didn't have a jukebox. Check out the back of this place. They have like a little pond. I guess there's turtles in this pond. And if you look ahead, look at that. Looks like you have a King Kong or some type of gorilla and some dinosaurs back there. It looks like King Kong is wearing a mask. Crossing this little bridge area, some waterfalls, some little fountains. And I stumbled across this guy. This is what I was like, what the heck? There's a guy dangling from this tree. Trying to stay away from that dinosaur. And then you have, looks like a duck. Just cleaning himself, hanging out. Holy sh, what the? That is not creepy at all. You guys see that? What the heck? Am, am I the only one seeing this right now? Looks like somebody trying to dig back to civilization. Are you okay over there? This guy is dangling for his life. And this guy is just zombie in it, which is kind of creepy. Uh oh, the deck spotted me. That's that's interesting. Out of all, this place is interesting. They have signs saying, please don't touch the turtles, which I don't know if they're talking about this turtle right here. He looks, he looks stumped a little bit. Or are they talking about this turtle right here? Which, I can't tell if that's real or fake. I think he's fake, he ain't moving. He might be real, I don't know. Kinda wanna throw a little pebble at him. Actually, no, wait a minute. There's a turtle. I just saw a little turtle's head pop up and he just went back down. Popped up to say hello. I'm assuming that one's fake. But where did that other, that other one was definitely real. Where did he go? So just confirming, that is a real turtle. I, look, you can see him moving his head. Look at him. He's staying very still. He must be camera shy. Not trying to startle him. His buddy keeps popping his head in and out of the water. What do you think his name is? Do you think it's Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, maybe Raphael? And we have some quackers, some ducks. Look at him. Look at him go. They're just swimming on by. Minding their own business, doing their thing. Look how peaceful this is. So nice, and then you got the King Kong and dinosaurs up in the distance. We got ducks, we have turtles, we have just pirates hanging from trees, and then crazy zombies, which is very interesting. But they also have a dinosaur shop, which is currently closed right now, and then uh, I don't know if that used to be the pizza shop, or if it's just kind of a little building for storage. But uh, they have pizza painted right on the side there. And a little ice cream. Look at this, they have a little stage area. I'm sure they have shows here. Or at one point they probably did have shows here. But why have shows? They have all this other cool stuff. This place is not just a 50s diner. 
This has everything. It's like a little theme park over here. One of the coolest attractions, roadside attractions, just right off the 15 here. Peggy Sue's. I would have never known. I thought this was just, you know, a burger joint, maybe get a shake. But this has, it's like a jack of all trades here. I love it. There he is, Mr. Mr. T's pubbing his head in and out of the water there. And you got the ducks right over there, right by that little dock. But how cool is that? Look at these little turtles. There's multiple in here. I'm not sure how many, but we're not stick your finger in there. They might bite it off. These turtles are everywhere. There's that one, and then there's, where's he at? Right there. And yeah, that one up in the distance. Still on that rock, just hanging out. Then right over there across the I-15, you got the Calico words there. Calico Mountains. And Peggy Sue, right here, just like it says. They wanted this diner right up to 15, right next to the Calico Mountains. And that's gonna do it for today. Here at Peggy Sue's 50s Diner. If you're uh, going to Vegas or coming from Vegas on the I-15, stop by, get something to drink, cool down, get a piece of pie, and just take it all in. Because this is just a little bit more than a 50s diner. The vlog is over.